Welcome back to Everything Money. In this video, you will learn about Walmart and their earnings. We will go over the financials. We'll do a fundamental analysis using our software, and we'll transfer these fundamentals into an appropriate stock price you should be paying using our stock analyzer tool. If you want to trade Walmart at a quicker pace, we'll head over to Mo, and he'll show you all the charts and trends for trading this thing. But first, why should you watch this video? I bring your questions about Walmart to a couple guys that own and operate over $100 million in real estates, multiple businesses, and stocks and they will guide us through the process, a value investor's mindset about investing in a mammoth company like Walmart. So Paul, let's talk about this thing. Walmart is enormous. Give me your thoughts. Hi right, guys, so first off, follow us on Instagram. We have a new Instagram account, Everything Money Investing, and then follow us personally so our mothers are very proud of us. So guys, here's the Everything Money software. We're gonna go to the Eight Pillars Tools. We're gonna type in Walmart, WMT. All right, let's look at the max chart for Walmart. Look at this, going back to 1987. It was three dollars and forty cents, and it's currently 141 bucks. So Mo wasn't even born in 1987. He wasn't even alive yet. So not even alive. Market cap of Aliba of not Alibaba. What is this? Walmart. Yep. Four hundred billion dollars, give or take. First PE, the first pillar. We want a five-year PE under 22.5. Guys, 33 and a half. A smidge high. So I immediately go, why is a company like Walmart selling for 33 and a half times their five-year earnings? This is not an exciting company. It's not going to grow a ton. I, I believe their revenue growth, if I looked at it, their, their, their revenue growth was 4.3% on the quarter. And earnings per share is actually down 38%. And their free cash flow is down over 50%. So I'm looking going, where's the premium being justified here? Pillar number two, we want the five-year return on invested capital being greater than 9%. It's 12.3%. You mean, where's the premium? I mean, why are people buying this? Why are they giving it a, a premium price is really Correct. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Why are we giving it 33 times the five-year earnings and 50 times the one-year earnings? Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> the, good, the good news is they do have do a good job of investing the capital that's invested in the business and getting a good return on it. Okay. They have a dividend. They have a dividend. 1.6% pays out $6 billion. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel, your, your dividends are not always safe. You have to compare it to your free cash flow. That is why your Uncle Paul put the free cash flow numbers right here on the main page of our software. Six billion paid out, five-year average is 18. That's about a third. That's perfect. So they're only paying out a third of their uh, free cash flow in terms of dividends. Pillar number three, we want to look at income growth. Now, this is a retail company. What am I always going to say about retail? Same store sales. So I want you guys to look up in their 10K or just Google it what their same store sales are because any retail business can just open a, a ton of locations and grow revenue. But if every single store is decreasing in its revenue every year, you have a problem. So while Mo looks that up, five years ago, they did 495 billion. Last year, they did 572 billion. So <laughs> consistent growth every year in revenue. Don't they have like 11,000 locations? How many locations does this place have across the world? Yeah, you're right. Mexico. I actually do know the, um, the revenue, the um, same store sales. In the U.S., it was 9% growth last year. You're right, Paul. 11,500 yeah, stores. 11,500 stores. Point number four, net income growth. Guys, 11 billion. Oh, wow. 8 billion. That's an X. Uh-oh. But look at the previous, the first five years of this. I mean, it's very consistently high. They must have had some write downs here. So whenever you see stuff like this, guys, big drops, I always look for other income and expenses. And look at this. We had a $10 billion write-off here, and we had a $9.5 billion write-off here in the two years that had the biggest profit drop. Okay? So every pillar tells a story. You put it all together, and you can answer questions. I looked at that and saying, wait a second, what happened here? Why were they earning 15, 16, 17 billion a year, and all of a sudden it dropped big time? This was probably a write-off. Write-offs occur when companies make acquisitions. They realize later, oops, we paid too much. We write it off. Okay? Or they sell a division for a loss. They write it off. So number five, mm -hmm, sure. we want shares outstanding decreasing. I don't know if I necessarily want that here though, because the company's expensive. I don't want the company taking their capital and buying back expensive shares themselves. So Seth, what do you think it is? Um, I don't know with Walmart, with the high price, you're right. They're probably selling. I bet you they're buying I back they're still. buying. Oh, buying. Oh, that's my guess. And they are. Uh-oh. Is it Look a lot? That. Oh, this is good usually. 2.98 down to 2.79. Now, it's, it's a check mark. Now, I, the only thing I don't like is... The PE is high, but they had three major write-offs in the last five years. That could be why their PE is high, right? So it makes me go, okay, maybe they're not that expensive then. So 
Pillar number six. Yeah, this is total long-term liabilities divided by five-year free cash flow. We want this multiple under five. This is their debt, Paul. Tell us about it. Okay, guys. One thing I want to point out, to pay my point, net income last year was $8 billion. Free cash flow last year was $17 billion. So the expensive part of the company is, is, is the earnings because of the one-time write-off. The free cash flow didn't drop. So that's a good thing to look at. We see consistency in free cash flow. But back to debt. We take our five-year average free cash flow that Uncle Paul provides you on the main page. We multiply it by five. And that is $92.5 billion. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's $92.5 billion. We want their total long-term liabilities to be under $92.5 billion. They have 11,500 locations that are all leased. Let's see. We go to the balance sheet. We scroll to the bottom. Oh, wow. Tell me. $66.5 billion. It's a check mark, guys. They also have the most amount of rascals that you ride through the store. That's got to eat up a lot of Please the free Please tell cash. me you're joking. I'm certain of it, Mo. Wouldn't you think? I see a lot of them. Ah. Have you ever ridden one of those rascals? So the only time I go to Walmart, no. honestly, is Little in Mexico. Go-karts. Oh, yeah. We go to that Walmart in Mexico all the time. They Walmart. sell like Vespas in there. They're selling oh. everything in there. Beautiful. Walmart is an experience. <laughs> Pe- well, people, of Walmart, website, like, the people of Walmart. People of Walmart. We, have to pull it up, right? we should pull. Yeah, we got to pull that up on the show. Have to pull it up. Okay, okay keep going. What was that? They sell yeah, they do in Mexico. Yeah. yeah, they sell four wheelers and everything. Oh, Seth, here you go. What you, oh God, now you're pulling it up now. <laughs> oh, there's somebody. Look at this one. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you being mean? No, no. I, I can't help with. I'm they looking put on at here, the here. rascal. Look at this one. Look at this. The people oh. of Walmart. Paul, you had that same outfit oh, there on look the right. This. He's he could pull his cart with that. Will you grow your hair that long, Paul? 100%. Oh, look at his outfit. Oh, it looks like Paul's ex. She just got off work. I won't go guy. there. Yeah, okay, great. Oh, this guy's just... Isn't that Mo? <laughs> with the chain? Yeah. yeah. That's me. This is why you're here, they folks. got this me is looking the, at cameras this for the, is the show. This exclusive content you're going to get from Everything Money. Go ahead, Paul. Free cash flow growth. Pillar okay, seven. so free cash flow is cash from operations, less your capital expenditures. You can do five things with free cash flow. Buy back shares, pay dividends, make acquisitions, uh, reinvest in yourself, and... Pay down debt. Pay down, Pay down debt. debt. Oh my god, I forgot gotcha. it. That's on you. Gotcha, bitch. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, guys, we go to the cash flow statement on our exclusive software. We scroll here to the middle of the page. Cash from operations, less your capital expenditures, and your uncle Paul puts it all in one line for you to make it easy. Eighteen point nine down to seventeen. That's an X. Okay, but the average of the last five years is eighteen point five. So our final metric. We take that five-year average, we multiply it by 20 as a starting point of a place where we want to see the value, 370 billion versus 395 billion. Yeah, that's correct. So it's an X. Slow down here a minute. This yes. is the market cap we want to pay, folks. We'd love to pay around 370, although is this slow growth still, would so you say? The metric, the eight polar metric is 20 times the average of the last five years. What we're going to use next, is, it's just a starting point. What we're going to do next, and by the way, here's the eight pillars tab. If it does all this math for you. So look at this company. You'd be surprised. Walmart actually has a lot of X's here, right? Biggest ones are the valuations. Now, what we're going to do next, though, is we'd, every investment is the present value of all future cash flows. And we don't know the future. We have to make assumptions on that. We're going to use the stock analyzer tool. And we're going to make our assumptions for the next 10 years. And it'll tell us a price we have to pay for the company to get the desired return that we have. This is our most popular aspect of our software because it tells people, hey, make your assumptions and go from there. Guys, it's incredibly powerful. You at home will show you how to get this software. It's just amazing when you're out and about to fire up your phone. You can click quickly click the eight pillars and know everything about Walmart in like 10 seconds. It's awesome. We'll show you how. Paul, show us the stock analyzer tool and what it does. All right. So the first thing it asks is number of years of analysis. Do we believe Walmart be around in 10 years? Nope, they did. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be around for 10 years. So now let's go to the revenue growth numbers. One, two, three. One, two, three. I agree. Okay. That's very low, but I like it. Profit margin. Look at that profit margin. I, I love it when people tell me that Walmart makes oh. a ton of money and they're exploiting oh, everybody. No, yeah, they're bad people, Paul. Look at that. Two point, that means for every $100 they bring in, they profit $2.7. All the stores, the all, all, all paying all the people, disabilities, sick leave, that you make $2 on 100 Who would do that? I'm going to go 2, 2.25, and 2.5%. Free cash flow margin. What do you think? 3, 3.25, and 3.5? What yeah. was that? Yeah. PE. Guys, this is Walmart. Look at these margins. Look at this growth rate. I mean, you cannot pay a premium for Walmart. 10, 12, 14. 14 16. 
I think 12, 14, 16, because it's still Walmart and they still have a very good hold on their market. I can actually justify a little bit higher, but let's start with 12, 14, 16 to start. And then finally, 12.5% return on our money. Guys, you can invest in an ETF, get 9 or 10%. So in order to invest in an individual stock, get a higher, get a higher return, 12.5%. Get your high return, and it also builds in your margin of safety. Analyze button. The stock is currently 141. This is not shocking at all. Low end of 40 to 60, middle range of 52 to 75, high range of 66 to 92. Guys, this should not be shocking to anybody. And I do believe this number right here in the middle. I look at this saying, yep, if I can buy this thing sub 75, I'd be happy. Probably, probably a little bit lower than 75. I probably want to be the 50 to 60 range. It's just math, guys. It's just math. Every investment's a present value. If I were to give you a dollar a year for the rest of your life, what would you pay me for that? Would you pay me a thousand bucks? No, you're going to live 50 more years. Why would you pay me a thousand dollars to get 50 bucks? No different here. You're buying a future stream of cash flow and earnings. That's it. If this resonates with you, if math resonates with you, Paul will show you how to get the software right now. Paul, tell them. So guys, we created the software because our users kept asking for us to do analysis on companies. They want to do their own analysis instead of waiting for us. So we created the software. You get everything you see here, everything you saw in the video, everything that's coming soon. And you also get it all on your mobile phone through Android and um, what's the other company? Apple. Apple through iOS. So you get all that. You get exclusive daily content, two or three videos per day that we send to you guys. It's exclusive just to our Everything Money subscribers. You get access to Seth Mo and I. You get 30 years of financial data. But most importantly, one of the biggest things we got is most people felt like they were alone. Like, you know, we have a very, very different view of the world. And if you do too, you probably don't have many friends around you can talk to you about it. This is over 6,000 people currently in our chat from all over the world where you can discuss all of your financial ideas, your investment ideas, even crypto, the people are in there talking about crypto, you get all this for only 90 cents per day. If you can increase your returns or decrease your losses by one or 2% a year, this would lead to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in extra gains in your lifetime for only 90 cents per day. Less than a cup of coffee. It's a no brainer guys, 90 cents a day and your price is locked in. Two ways to sign up, everything money or Patreon. The benefit of everythingmoney.com directly is we are not big enough to charge sales tax yet, so you'll save on the sales tax for quite a while. 90 cents a day, go sign up. And if you're looking to trade Walmart at a quicker pace, we will head over to the glorious Mo, the Egyptian dream boat that he is, and all of his glory and wisdom and handsomeness. Mo, tell us about trading Walmart. Guys, I love trading Walmart from a day, uh, daily perspective. Do you? And this is, yeah, because, I mean, look how frequently this thing, I mean, you're always getting some kind of movement where you can catch it just a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. So these, this is why I like trading this so much. And right now, we, you could have caught this awesome downtrend. And I know that there's a lot of people in the bid and ask that have actually caught this run down. And they caught this run up too. Right after this, right after this big jump, they were over the 100-day moving average. They caught that run up, then they caught the run down. This is a great stock to trade from a daily perspective. Let's see if we could day trade it. Probably not. Um... No, and the reason is there's not a lot of movement that happens with Walmart on a day-to-day -day basis. It's pretty, it's, it, it just kind of stays range bound. Yes, even here, you were under 20%, but look at the price movement that you had through the day. It was a couple of cents. So the point is, don't waste your time with something like this. Go and find something with a little bit of a higher beta where you get price fluctuations more frequently throughout the day and make the time sitting there on your and day trading worth it. I would tell you guys to go and swing trade it. If you want to learn to swing trade, come and join me in the Bid and Ask Nation. You'll get access to the Trading 101 series that will give you just that. The Employed Trader series. This used to be an employed trader. Kind of, it's a, it's a oh, boring, was it, it, was it was, and I before? kicked it out this week. It's boring. There's no movement on it. It's, it's, it's crazy volatile around earnings. So we got rid of it and added the S&P. Um, I, you get my monthly seminars in the Bid and Ask Nation, and you get 900 people that are in the community that all trade just like I do. So come and join us. The Bid Ask Nation is the hottest club, Paul, since the Pizza Hut Book Club back in the 80s. Oh, I love in. the Pizza Hut Book Club. If, book you're it, too young for book this, if, if you're young, too young for this, folks, we used to read books and then we'd get stickers from our teachers oh on a gosh. button. Then you'd go, your it parents would take you to, to Pizza Hut and you'd get a free little personal pan oh, pizza. But the Bid Ask is better than all of that, Paul, and you know it. That's our take on Walmart. Fondle a thumbs up like you tickle Paul's white inner thighs. Those little beautiful little milky, milky thighs. Um, that was really weird. And I'll see you next video. Love you.